Look at this from Bloomberg today. The U.S. isn't alone in suffering high levels of gun violence. It's a huge issue in many places, just none that America would consider a, pair, a peer. So gun deaths are high in parts of Latin America, including El Salvador, Guatemala, and Colombia. Because, you know, we've been doing a drug war, <laughs> and so now there's a bunch of drug gangs, uh, where gang violence and drug trafficking are rife. South Africa recorded 7,351 firearm-related killings in 2019 and 20. Among rich nations, the United States really stands out. It registered 214 mass shootings defined as, and a mass shooting is uh, where four people or more are shot, right? That's what that is. At least four people were shot. So we've gotten already 214 of those in just 145 days. So that's more than one a day. <laughs> more than one a day. Strict regulations in parts of Asia, Europe, and the Middle East are strongly correlated with fewer violent firearm deaths. Now, again, I've gone back and forth on the firearm thing. I used to be for banning all of them. Then I was for, and then I saw Waco, and I was like, "Hey, maybe we should have guns," because that was crazy. And then I realized, no, the, the the government will always have more guns if they want to kill you. They will, and look what they and um. And so I went back for the, I'm back on the board of we need to get rid of guns. Because if you look at the countries that ban their guns, they have less, they just have less gun violence. It's just, it's just a fact. And I'm not a gun nut. I don't, I, I, I shot a gun once, almost shot my head off. I don't like guns. They scare me. And the stats are if you have a gun in your house, you're more likely to kill someone you know. Here is the, uh, so the United States Ethiopia, and what is that? Yemen? I don't know what is this. Saudi, whatever this is. This might be Saudi Arabia. Yemen. These are the, so only three countries in the whole world let you buy a gun without getting a license. See, the, in the blue, that's are all the countries that make you get a license. What, what's the reason that they don't want there to be a license? Like, what is the... I, uh, because it would inhibit gun sales. What do you think? I mean, what's the, what's the bullshit reason they give? Like, yeah, is it they like, give Second um, Amendment. They go to Second Amendment, man. You can give Second Amendment. So is that it, like I have like, a right. You can't make me. You can't make me get a license because I have a right to it. It's in the Constitution. You, oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Did you right. ever see Red Dawn? Where, it's like, like it's like you can't get a license for free speech. It's in the fucking Constitution. That's what they say, right? Oh, I see. So these are all the countries that make you get a license first. Oh, there's one country here. What's that country? Anyway, and then this country, these countries in yellow don't let you even have one. No matter, you can't get a license or nothing. So here, we'll go down. I'll, the gun homicide rate is high in Mexico, Latin America, and the Caribbean. In 2021, the Mexican government sued the U.S. The Mexican government sued the United States. Why? Because they say their gun makers have loose controls and are contributing to the legal flow of weapons over the border. So they're like, hey, would you guys quit making all these goddamn guns and flooding our country with them? Our, who's yeah. what? Who's that? Uh, what are they called? The Zetas? They're the the drug cartel that are made specifically from all the people that we trained in arms <laughs> to fight drug cartels. I didn't know <laughs> that. Form, I didn't know yeah, that. But that's how. The Zetas, and they're the worst of all of them. Now. It makes perfect sense. So uh, Argentina, Mexico. Colombia, Brazil, and Chile allow citizens to own guns, but regulate the purchase of them, and they have to get licenses. In Brazil, firearms have become easier to get and multiplied in circulation under the unabashedly pro-gun President Bolsonaro, who claims putting guns in the hands of good guys helps lower crime. Registered collectors, hunters, and recreation gun users surged 325% to over a million licensed. So they went from 255,000 licensed gun owners in Brazil to over a million. <laughs> wow. China, here's their policy. The Communist Party implemented one of the strictest gun control laws in 1996, banning possession, manufacturing, trade, transport, lease of guns for anyone other than the state-approved personnel, such as law enforcers, security guards, approved athletes, and hunters. So if you're good at basketball, you get a gun. In India, the world's second most populous nation, getting a gun license involves thorough assessment and background checks. The country of 1.4 billion people had about 3.3 million gun licenses in 2018. So that's very few. We know we have more guns in America than we have people. 
So they only have 3.3 million gun licenses for a so They're doing pretty good. Southeast Asia has strict gun controls, though it is a hub for cross-border arms smuggling and trafficking. Cambodia and Vietnam have bans on firearms, while Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, and Thailand have restrictive gun control. The death penalty can be imposed for gun-related crimes in countries like Indonesia, Singapore, Vietnam, and Malaysia. Sweden stands out for the high level of gun homicide compared with other European countries. At about four deaths per million. The United States has four deaths per 100,000. I'm pretty sure that's the number. So, and this is considered high. Wow. Can you check that? Is, is it four deaths per 100,000 gun deaths in America? The average for Europe is roughly 1.6 deaths per million inhabitants, according to the Swedish National Council for Crime Prevention. So that's much lower. What is it in the United States? What's our death rate from guns? We'll see. Hang on, sorry. Central and Eastern Europe have had a lower frequency of mass shootings in the U.S. Well, it's hard to have higher. They are, there are strict gun regulations on gun ownership across the region, and getting permission usually requires jumping through layers of bureaucracy, including a psychological assessment and a training process. So the rest of the world keeps a real tight control on their guns for their citizens. We don't do that in the United States, and so we have all these mass shootings. Firearms in Qatar, Kuwait, and the United Arab Emirates are very strictly regulated, with behavioral and background checks leading to very few instances of gun violence. The minimum age to obtain a license is 21, and guns need to be registered. In Kuwait, even the bullets need to be licensed. Again, we're the only country. In South Africa, there are estimated 2.72 million firearms owned by private individuals in a nation of 60 million people. The country recorded 7,351 firearm-related killings in 2019-20, according to blah, blah, blah. So, but most of those are from gang violence. And look at this. So they banned. So get look at this. little. So look at right here. So these are uh, indiscriminate killings of multiple victims in a public place since 1982. So look at, so this is them. So not many in 1980, not many in 85, 99, not many, 2000. All of a sudden, right here, it explodes. What happened right here? What do you think happened right here? I'll tell you what happened. They repealed the assault ban rifle weapon thing. That's what happened. And I have the, the stat, it's... Um... In the United States, on a per capita basis, there were 13.6 gun deaths per 100,000 people in 2020, yeah. which is much lower than 1974 when it was 16.3 gun deaths per 100,000. But six, six, uh, over 60 percent of the gun deaths are suicides. Oh, you mean currently? Yes, 2020. So 2020. Yeah. So the 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 idea behind that is, yeah, the mass shootings are going up, but they still make up a very small percentage of the overall gun deaths. Does mass shooting mean indiscriminate or like, let's say you did a drive-by shooting and didn't hit who you were aiming at, but you killed four people. Does that count as a mass shooting? Yes. No? Any any Plus. shooting where four people are get, get shot. That's a catch. Sure. They're called mass shootings. I'm curious what the rate is of other kinds of murders. Because I don't know if you watch like in the UK, they keep... I with have a, knives have like a knife. yeah like they they start they stopped including knives at like restaurants and like stuff like that like i'm curious like what the other levels of murder of other weapons are you know you see a guy in norway that killed five people with a bow and arrow you're like wow they really do not have guns oh that's right we should cover that there was what did, where was where did that happen i want to say norway there was norway so there was a guy, a guy what did he kill like five people with a bow and arrow there's a mass bow and arrow killing. Never, you ever thought you'd hear that? I, th I think it's probably they must have lower murder still than in America. Of I'm course. Just, like, of course. Here we do doing stand-up comedy in Irvine, California, Las Vegas, San Diego, Salt Lake City, Indianapolis, Louisville, all over the place. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for tickets. <laughs>